عايزه اقول لك A blessed morning to all. This Eucharistic celebration is currently streamed every day through the Facebook page of San Lorenzo Ruiz Parish. While viewing this live streaming at your homes, please join us in the responses and songs of the celebration. Mass Intentions For the birthday intention of Edith Arzaga, for the Thanksgiving intention of Lat family, Laya and Imelda Victoria, Valbuena family, Falcon family, Cora and Toti Mangubat and family, Lawrence Vincent, Sevilla family, and Cruz family. For the special intention of Esther Hizon, Rafael Hizon Jr., Lillian Hizon, DMJVI, MVSR, ICB, Christine May Falcon, Anthony Perez, Go Family, Buizon Family, Jet Yap, Cap Vic Bernardo and Family, Sevilla Family, Eleanor P. Eugenio, Kibogi Family, and Temporal Family. For the healing of CKO, Raymond Tan, Georgie Tianchon, Dina Baltazar, Jerome Pangyarihan Jr., Rosana Tambangan, VGKE, SG, Nori Mayuga, Alan and Isabel Buizon, Baltazar Family, Dasky Victoria, Moises Serrano, Joy Lumba, Victorina de los Santos, Rodi Angeles, Abdo Yazbek, and Esme Yadao, and all the souls infected of coronavirus and involved in their care. For the repose of the souls of Charlene Lat, Alsteo Sr. and Laura Lat, Antonio, Lilia, and Lourdes de Leon, Crisanto de Matatak, Brian Cheng, Althea Jacob, Oscar Parto, Antonio and Josefa Perez, Pedro, Isabelo, Isidora, Geminiano, Pacifico, Olivia Valdivesio, Remedios, Pedro Sr., Tomasita, Anastasio Yap Jr., Crispin Santiago, Jonisho Ching and Lita Ching, Francis Xavier Marajeta, Mariano and Erlinda Soriano, Raymond Miano, Beatriz Orqueta, Elsa Panaca, Pilar Macrohon, Basilio Diego Sr., Carlos Umpa, Gomercinde de los Reyes, Candida de Sena, Clemencita Ejera, Marichu Maceda, Richard, Hector Parcon, Alfonso Manahan, Wilfredo Torres, Crisanta Kalilong, Edgardo Cruz, Sounder Rohon, Tumayamal Asokyam, Nambikay Mary, Miss Stella, Eduardo Fabi Sr., Pedro E. Mercedes de la Cruz, Kibongi Jonathan, Luciano E. Isabel, and all the souls in purgatory. Let us all kneel for the prayer of Horacio Imperata against the COVID-19 virus. Horacio Imperata, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time 
to work for the good of all, and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Prayer for our faithful departed. Fourth day prayer. O Lord Omnipotent, I beseech you by the precious blood of your divine Son, Jesus, that was shed in the streets of Jerusalem while he carried on his sacred shoulders the heavy burden of the cross. Deliver the souls in purgatory, and especially that one which is richest in merits in your sight, so that, having soon attained the high peace in glory to which it is destined, it may praise you triumphantly and bless you forever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Lord God omnipotent, I beseech you by the precious blood which your divine Son Jesus shed in the garden. Deliver the souls in purgatory, and especially that one which is the most forsaken of all, and bring it into your glory, where it may praise and bless you forever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Merciful Father, hear our prayers and console us. As we renew our faith in your Son, whom you raised from the dead, strengthen our hope that all our departed brothers and sisters will share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please stand and let us pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of Christ, your Son, by the message of an angel, so by his passion and cross, we may be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's celebration is the Wednesday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time, and the memorial of St. Charles Borromeo. The celebrant of today's Mass is Reverend Father Candido Bayron to be concelebrated with Reverend Father Nino Etolier. Today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Charles Borromeo, Bishop. With his intercession, let us offer to God all our, the intentions of this Mass and as well our personal prayers and intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. To prepare ourselves in the sacred celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God for his forgiveness and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, O Lord, the spirit with which you filled the Bishop St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed, and by comforting herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. My beloved, obedient as you have always been, not only when I am present, but all the more now when I am absent. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For God is the one who, for his good purpose, 
works in you both to desire and to work. Do everything without grumbling or questioning, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish. In the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shine like lights in the world, as you hold on to the word of life, so that my boast for the day of Christ may be that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. But even if I am poured out as a libation upon the sacrificial service of your faith, I rejoice and share my joy with all of you. In the same way, you also should rejoice and share your joy with me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate in his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the Spirit of God rests upon you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciples. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you, wishing to construct a tower, does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is, there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlooker should laugh at him and say, this one began to build, but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king, advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he's, he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Napaasa na ba kayo? Yung akala mo kayo na, pero in the end, hindi pala. Nag-iilusyon ka lang pala. Jela, naranasan mo yun. Ah, hindi pa. No, masakit yun. No? Papaasahin ka. Yung mag-iilusyon ka na kayo na. Now, in today's Gospel, St. Luke tell us that a great crowd were traveling with Jesus. And according to Sister Janzon, this crowd probla- probably were entertained by their great illusion now, regarding the inauguration of the kingdom in Jerusalem where David used to reign. No? They have this worldly expectations of Jesus. Parabang Jesus for them will play as their no, political hero who will reign as a mighty king, no, a political king like King David no, who will crush their enemies and free them from no, any political oppressions. Kaya po alam ni Jesus kung ano ang iniisip ng mga sumusunod sa kanya no, who traveled with them. Kaya Jesus has to be prank on them. And he told them, if you wish to follow me, then carry your own cross. Every one of you who does, does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. No? Ang pagsunod po ng ating Panginoong Jesus, sabi ko nga, ay hindi po isang ilusyon. No? Ibig sabihin, when we follow the Lord, hindi po ito nangangahulugan that we are already free from sufferings or we no longer experience um, difficulties or challenges in life. That is illusion. No? Para bang kinukumpara nga natin ito sa mga mag-asawa, married life is not an illusion. No? Bago kayo magpakasal, no? talagang in love na in love kayo sa isa't isa. At sinasabi mo sa sarili mo, siya na nga. You are the one no? na magpapaligaya sa akin. Pero nung nag-decide kayo na magpakasal, alam ninyo na hindi lahat masaya. Alam ninyo na no? haharapin ninyo ang maraming pagsubok sa buhay mag-asawa at ganun din no? sa buhay pamilya. May mga problema na darating may mga pagsubok na darating. Pero alam ninyo kung saan man, kung ano man, no? sa buhay mag-asawa, alam ninyo na kung ano man ang dadanasin ninyo, nangyan lang kayo para sa isa't isa. Nangyan lang kayo para sa isa't isa. No? Hindi po ito ilusyon, no? ang buhay mag-asawa. No? Hindi lahat masaya. Pero nangyan kayo sa isa't isa. At no, this is your promises no, during nung ikinasal kayo. For better or for worse, for richer or for power, for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. At ganun din naman ang ating pagsunod kay Jesus. No, our relationship with Jesus is not an illusion. No, hindi po lahat masaya makakaranas tayo ng paghihirap, many forms of challenges and difficulties. But Jesus assures us that He will be with us. No? He will journey with us and He will never abandon us. Kaya Jesus invited the crowd no, who followed Him to discern. No? Baka ang kanilang pagsunod sa Kanya is just like no, building a tower and while in the midst of constructing that tower, 
ay hindi pala niya kayang tapusin at mahuhulog siyang kakatawa-tawa. Or just like going to a war. And in the middle of the war, ay nakikita mong no, you have no enough soldiers at mamumukha kang katawa-tawa sa iyong kaaway. Or kaya ang pagsunod natin kay Jesus will be likened to no, pagtambak ng dolomite sa Manila Bay na hindi mo kayang pwedeng isustain. Na nakakatawa ka. Kaya, no, discern. No? Parang sinabi ni Jesus, I am willing to suffer with you. No, but what about you? No? Are you also willing to journey with me? To suffer with me? O baka naman ang iyong pagsunod sa akin ay isang ilusyon lamang. During those times that you need to carry your cross, then you will abandon me. No? Isa nga bang ilusyon ng ating pagsunod sa Kanya? Kahapon po, nagpunta po ako sa Tanging Yaman. No? Pinick up ko yung pinamili ni Father Nino na bigas at yung saba na saging. And no, sa pagpunta namin doon, no, thousands of relief packs ang ready to deliver sa sa albay yung nasalanta ng bagyong roli. No, talagang salute to the donors, no, generous donors, na talagang hindi pinababayaan ang ating mga kabatid na naghihirap ngayon. Ang sabi ko nga, no, makakaranas tayo ng paghihirap. No, iniisip ko habang tinitingnan ko silang inaakyat yung mga relief goods, Talagang hindi tayo pababayaan ng Diyos. God will never abandon us. Sa hirap na dinaranas natin ngayon, He will be with us. He will journey with us. But now the question is, what about us? Are we willing to journey with Him? To carry the cross until the end? Please all stand. Let us come to God the Father that we may follow Christ consistently and be able to respond to the demands of discipleship. In the name of Jesus, hear our prayer. In the name of Jesus, hear our prayer. That the Pope, the bishops, and priests may continue to show forth true discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. In the name of, of Jesus, Jesus, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may lay aside trust in mater material possessions and find our true strength in God. Let us pray to the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, hear our prayer. That we may not turn our back on suffering, but may accept the crosses that come our way. Let us pray to the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, hear our prayer. That those who carry crosses of physical, mental, or spiritual anguish may learn to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. In the, In the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, hear Lord. our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends who have carried Christ's cross in this world may now enjoy eternal happiness in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. In, In the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus hear Lord. our prayer. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and the intentions offered in this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. In, In the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus hear, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you know the many different needs we have in this life. Give us the courage to take up our cross and follow in the footsteps of your Son, Jesus. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Charles, and grant by the power of this sacrifice that as you made him an attentive pastor, outstanding in the merit of his virtues, so may you make us abound in good fruit by our works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Charles, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Roberto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Charles Borromeo, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching with there to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Brothers and sisters, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the secret mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us the determination which made St. Charles faithful in ministry and fervent in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the dead. God, our Father, 
Your power brings us to birth. Your providence guides our lives. And by your command, we return to dust. Lord, those who die still live in your presence. Their lives change but do not end. We pray in hope for our family, relatives, and friends. And for all the dead known to you alone. In company with Christ who died and now lives, may they rejoice in your kingdom where all our tears are wiped away. Unite together again in one family to sing your praise forever and ever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. When the Mass has been offered. Let us go and love the Lord and our neighbor. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.